Today we're going to be talking about how to teach your child how to complete a shape sorter or a form box. A shape sorter is similar to a puzzle. There are shapes that fit into a specific hole. Once all the pieces are done, the shape sorter is complete. There's a wide variety of shape sorters available for purchase. Some have just one particular shape to fit into a specific hole, up to eight to 12 pieces to fit into a hole. Select the shape sorter that is the right level for your child at this moment, and then as they gain more skills, you can purchase shape sorters that are more and more complex. So what skills are we teaching our children when we're teaching them to complete a shape sorter? First thing, we're teaching them object manipulation of learning materials. That is, learning materials have a designated purpose and we use them to learn new skills. Also, we're teaching our kids fine motor skills, attending skills, learning to look at something for a prolonged period of time and figuring out how it works. We're also teaching them different shapes and how to be persistent with things when, when it doesn't initially work for us. So what is the initial skill that our children need to complete this activity? The first thing they need to be able to do is to pick up an item, bring it over to a designated spot, and release it over the designated hole. We can initially teach this skill with a block inside of a box or something inside of a cup, any sort of container toy. Over time, we're gonna work on refining this skill and finessing it into something that's closer and closer to putting a specific shape into a specific hole. This is called a shaping procedure. Over time, we're gonna teach our children to put the item into smaller and smaller holes and to take the item and learn how to twist it and turn it into different ways so that it fits into a specific hole size. Once our children have started to master this skill, we're gonna teach them how to use a variety of different shapes. Usually a circle or cylinder or ball is the easiest shape to start with. Then work up to a square or a cube, and then lastly, a triangle. Those are the three essential shapes that your child should first learn how to manipulate and to maneuver into a shape sorter. Once your child has learned this skill, then you can teach them how to differentiate all of these different shapes into a single shape sorter. The first way that you can work on this is to place the, the other two shapes into the holes so that the child is just learning that they have to make that single discrimination. Next, you take out two of the shapes and the children, child has to learn how to discriminate both shapes into the shape sorter. Lastly, you could work on having them discriminate multiple shapes into the shape sorter. Shake it up. Ready? Do this. And okay, now put, try putting it in. There you go. Yep. So what to do if your child is still having a little bit of heart difficulty learning this new skill? Well, if your child's not putting the shape in the right spot, you can always start with a correct verbal prompt like, no, that's not the right place, or keep trying. Some children do well with a pointing prompt to show them where that piece should exactly go right now. 
Some children do well if you guide their hand into the correct spot. The last kind of prompt that you can use is using your hand to create an additional sort of barrier or raised surface with a shape sorter so that your child is learning where the piece should be going. Remember that being able to handle all the pieces and manipulate them and discriminate between all of them is a skill to work up to. So some of our kids might do better initially when you're handing the pieces to them one at a time. Also, make sure when you're working on this skill that you're teaching your child how to orientate to the pieces in a variety of different directions. So you wanna make sure that after your child has learned how to do this skill, that sometimes they get the form box when it's handed to them in a vertical position, and sometimes they do the form box when it's handed to them in a horizontal position. Because this object manipulation and orientation can be a real challenge for some of our kids. All right, everybody, thank you so much for attending and listening today. Have fun learning.